The more we know about our lunar neighbour, the more fascinating it becomes. It's just incredible that the moon, which is nearly a quarter of a million miles away from us, is having an effect on Earth. And the most dramatic effect is the tide. And these tides are caused by gravity. Gravity is a great universal force. It keeps us firmly in our place on Earth and keeps the moon in orbit around us. But while the Earth is pulling on the moon, the moon is also pulling on the Earth, tugging at our seas. Gravity is a very powerful force, but you can't see it. It's a force of attraction. Another force of attraction which works in a very similar way is magnetism. I've got a block of metal here. It's on some scales, and it weighs 2 pounds and 14 ounces. And that's Earth's gravity pulling, which gives it that weight. And I can put this very strong magnet above it, and there's a magnetic force of attraction pulling at the block, making it weigh effectively less. And the numbers are dropping away on the dial. The gravitational attraction works in a very similar way. The gravitational force of the moon causes the water in the oceans to bulge. And as the Earth spins, this bulging produces high and low tides. The size of the tides depends on the distance between the Earth and the moon. If the moon was just a little closer, the tidal bulge would grow. Low tides would be lower, high tides everywhere would be higher, and any low-lying coastline would be flooded. But what if the moon was much closer than it is today? Another rush hour in London, but this evening, as the sun sets, there's a magnificent sight. A huge moon rises, 20 times closer to Earth than normal. This supersized moon exerts a supersized gravitational pull on the Earth. And it's creating a mighty tidal bulge. The waters pour across the British Isles. London is flooded. Hours later, the same tidal bulge hits the east coast of America, and the story is the same. New York is inundated, a city submerged. And it's all the work of the moon.